What's up, everybody? So, stuff's happened. Stuff. So big news, Niantic has released a new update for Pokemon Go. It is 0.63.1 for us Android users, 1.33.1 for you iOS users. And very briefly, they touched upon it. They added Brazilian Portuguese language support. Tapping on a medal will now show your progress towards the next medal tier. I've not got the update yet, so I don't know how that's different from before. It's exciting! I'm sure corporate is furious that there are no minor text fixes. The minor text fix department is somebody's getting fired. Anyway, and because it's begun propagation, the Silk Road, everybody, Pokemon Go Hub, they've all gotten their hands on the APK for 0.63.1, and here's what they have found. So here's a little dorky thing. They've changed their namespace from Niantic Labs to Niantic.platform. Just a sign of the times, when Niantic left Google Alphabet, they changed their names from Niantic Labs to Niantic Inc. So it's cool to see that they finally changed it into code, I guess. So they've implemented a new approach to memory management called Memory Pools, specifically the implementation by Zenject, the Unity Dependency Injection Framework. <laughs> This should allow reducing heap allocations and making the game run smoother. So that just appears in the code. They don't know if the actual code is taking advantage of it yet. But yeah, memory management, smoother gameplay would be a welcome addition, let's say. So Encounters has a number of fail codes. This includes not in range, Pokemon inventory full, and now a new encounter fail code has appeared, encounter blocked by anti-cheat. We don't exactly know what that means, but the Silph Road is speculating that it might be triggered when a Pokemon encounter begins at one location, but a capture attempt is made far away from that starting location, or something entirely different. But that method's commonly used by spoofers. It's called sniping. They spoof to one location, they start the encounter, and then transport back to their starting point, and then catch it there so they don't get banned. Hopefully this measure would stop that entirely. Now this is crazy. A new gym attribute has appeared, max same Pokemon at fort. So that strongly hints that they're gonna set a limit to the amount of the same Pokemon being in a gym, which would be dope. Let's limit the amount of Blissies we can put in a gym to one, please. Cause I took down a level seven yesterday and had two Blissies in it. it took me freaking forever. The thing's annoying. They added a new sponsor type called NIA underscore ops. Ops being short for operators. So Niantic operators hints strongly towards event involvement from Niantic in our opinion. Sponsorships tend to be location-based. So if you sponsor us, we'll put a bunch of Pokestops at your location, put, put a bunch of gyms. So speculation, if that means Niantic operators, which, uh, what else would it mean? So when a major event like Legendaries happens, having Niantic operators function like sponsors means that you can set a location for your event. I'm stoked. Rework of the News Digest. So instead of having news items expire and disappear, they're gonna be indexed in reverse order whatever. And then the Silk Road went into all-out speculation. So they found hints in the code referring to so-called raid Pokemon. These hints appear alongside a list of XP earned events called activities. The new XP earning activities are explicitly named activity underscore defeat underscore raid underscore Pokemon, activity underscore feed underscore berry, activity underscore search underscore gym, it appears that XP will be granted for defeating a raid Pokemon, possibly an offensive Pokemon attacking a gym your mon is defending as well as for feeding this Pokemon a berry. The search activity is especially unclear at this point, as search is used elsewhere in the APK to denote network calls, etc., and typically not what the end user would consider a search. Feeding berries might be real-time socket-based attempt to rejuvenate and strengthen your defender remotely as they are attacked by opponents in their gym. This mechanic is utilized in Ingress to more actively defend critical portals from afar, Many find the push notifications about ongoing attacks to be one of the most fast-paced elements of the competitive scene. And as far as push notifications go, they found whole new tools have been added to utilize Google Cloud Messaging for more active real-time push notifications. That sounds freaking dope. So in the Silk Road's opinion, this bodes extremely well towards enabling more real-time collaboration via push notifications. There also seems to be evidence in code that these notification settings can be configurable and opt-outable. As of right now, there's no way to really know exactly what any of this speculation means. Otherwise, it wouldn't be speculation, guys. So take it with a grain of salt. But dang, man, they, they rip up those APKs fast. It was like a couple minutes. Moving on to another interesting part of the news. Ingress officially posted out, starting today, Operation Portal Recon will now be available to any level 16 agents. So it was in invite only beta before, but now level 16 Ingress players can vote in portal submissions. That is big news for us Pokemon Go players because 
portal submissions often tend to translate into Pokestops. So if Project Recon's a big success and they start expanding their abilities to go into more rural regions, we can start to see increases in Pokestops and gyms in rural areas, and that's an awesome step. Because even when Niantic was under Google's alphabet umbrella, they had trouble keeping up with all the Ingress portal submissions, and now they've done the smart thing and crowdsourced it. And now it's available to every level 16 Ingress players. Yeah, that's it for the news, guys. If you're watching the video today, May 11th, I will be streaming Mass Effect Andromeda later today at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. So set your clocks. So the grass event has come and gone, and I was super busy. So I didn't really get to play a whole lot, but I guess I played enough that this has to be two videos. <laughs> this is day one of the grass event. And yeah, I know, Bulbasaur wasn't shiny. What are you gonna do? I didn't ever claim he was shiny. Look at the description. Read, read the description. It says Mebe. Read it. M-E-B-B-E. -B -B -E. Mebe. That's not a definite. I didn't, I, I did strongly think it looked shiny though. Anyway, to the video. The event's been going on for a while, but I've been working. The truth is, the timing in this event kinda sucks, because I am super busy this weekend. In fact, I'm pretty sure I only have today to shoot. And it's raining. I'm gonna make the most of this Friday. I'm gonna drive to Centennial. It's drizzling a little bit. I might be able to get on my car. If it clears up, just sit in a lower spot. Who knows? But today will basically be the only day I have during this event to grind. So this will be my Worldwide Bloom grind, right here. <laughs> So, I'm not seeing any lures, which is alarming. It was just raining though. People also probably went to another park. Is uh, I think this is a, well it's a sneasel nest. It's a nice nest. I'm sticking around. I guess everybody got scared away by the rain? Who knows? Yeah, the, the park is pretty empty. Granted, there was also some kind of fair going on today. The entranceway was pretty blocked off, but it's open. Park's completely open. We shall see. Caught it. It's gorgeous out. Yeah, I'm not seeing lures though. That is really alarming. Battle with the best of them. Best quality is just a touch. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty awesome wild teddy ursa you just caught right there. Yeah, there, there are people here, just not a lot. The weather just cleared up. That, that explains. That explains. Hopefully one of many Sneasels I'll be catching. I have no need for them, but I still like Sneasel. Great throw, great ball. One. Oh, he's like, I'm 957, you gotta throw something harder than that. No. No, I will not. Mm. Why does this make me, why is, why do you do this camera? I want you to light for me, not for the sky. All right, you know, I'm gonna, I'll whip out an ultra ball real quick. Where am I? There I am. What? Okay, great throw, ultra ball. Should be in the bag. I mean, this is a nest. This is a Sneasel nest. I shouldn't have to bother with this guy. Another great throw, another Ultra Ball, another Raspberry. Oh, look at the sky, guys. How gorgeous that looks. Brilliance. Finally caught it. Okay. The price. Room for improvement. Seriously. Cereal. Cereal, Snoozle. I am super duper cereal. Something tells me this is not the place to be today. All right, I'm gonna hit that carp from across the lake. Be shiny. Ugh. It's not shiny. 
Ooh, another carp shiny check. Oh, it's not shiny. I think I should just hang out here until I get a shiny. But I want to be where the people are. I want to be where the people are. This is a majestic looking place, but no one's playing Pokemon here. You know, this is this is getting my ice type badge. 1177, we're gonna try with a regular Pokeball. Come on, we don't care, we're reckless. Okay, great throw, regular Pokeball. Uh, come on. Heck yeah, heck yeah I caught that Sneasel. What you got? It's kind of eerie being here all by myself. I mean, I'm not complaining. I have this gorgeous park all to myself right now. But look at it. Like, this is a great time to come to Centennial. Ain't nobody here. Nobody. Just me. This is how we stack up the K's here in Nashville. We just go along the one mile loop. there's no point to luring anything up if nobody's here sure you might get some cool spawns but I rather enjoy lures with other people so I'm ahead to buy Centennial here at Bicentennial either. Weird. No lures. What on earth? This is black. What is going on, Nashville? Get your head in the game. We've got a Stantler. Oh, come on. There you go. Wild Stantler. CP 77. Okay. Great throw. Awesome. There's a Chikorita, but there's also a Cyndaquil nearby, so... That takes priority in my head. Because with this event, we're probably gonna see a lot of Chikoritas. Where is the Cyndaquil? Cyndaquil! There he is. There he is, and a Teddy Ursa. 627, Cyndaquil. Hit it with a pineapple. Bathroom is across the way. Looks like they're closing, which is not gonna be fun for me. Because I won't need to use your, use your facilities. Please, please don't close. I'd like to use the baseball. Two. <laughs> You got it. Double candies on that Cyndaquil, come on. Ugh. 154 Cyndaquil candies total. This one's really strong, so we're gonna do 150. If I hit the praise instead of transfer. That's what happens when you gotta pee. All right. 155 Cyndaquil candies. I think that's a glitch. That's not another Cyndaquil. Yep. Guys, the struggle is real, and the struggle is not pissing myself. I don't need Chikorita candies. Why am I wasting my pineapps? Oof, that was a, that was hideous. Why did you make me throw that way? Hmm. Hmm. Why? Let's go. Because you wanted me to catch it. Is that why? Is that why? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a shuckle nest. Bunch of shuckles. Leaving. So. The parks have failed me. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna head into downtown Nashville. But uh, apparently this lot closes at midnight, so I can't stay any later than that. I mean, it's 8.24. I'm not gonna stay past midnight. Sandy check. Oh no. The most annoying sound in the world. The Bachelorette Party Pedal Tavern. Yo, straight up, if I had to be a bartender in one of those pedal taverns, I don't know, man. I'd probably be an alcoholic. Not because there's booze around, but because you'd have to. It's the most annoying sound on the planet, and you're traveling with it. At least for the rest of us, it passes. The whole Bachelorette Party that knows every word to Spice Girls Wannabe, I'm trying to behave like I don't know every word to Spice Girls want to be. I'm trying to find where all the lures are at. Because if I see a lure, I'll probably find people. But as it stands, <laughs> haven't seen any lures, haven't seen any people, haven't seen any good spawns. I don't know, guys. This might be a bust. It's just a little odd. Not seeing any lures when this is supposedly a six hour lure event. 
Yeah guys, other than finding a real nice place to get murdered, I haven't really found anything here. I'm gonna head up to the courthouse. It's usually a nest there. See, what, see what's going on over in that area. I'll head over to Centennial, catch some sneezles. Call it a night. <sighs> FK egg. Huh. Tyrogue, come on. Battle with the best of them, best quality is HP, stats to the best I've ever seen. Another hit on top. It's gonna be like my fifth one, dude. I still believe the shiny hype, even though this one's not shiny. I don't, I, I'm on the fence. I mean, the picture looks different, but not different enough. All right, great throw. It appears the courthouse is a quillfish nest. I don't mind that. There was a quillfish, and it's windy. Sorry about the wind. Try to move away from the wind. Oh, it's over in that corner. All right, there he is. There's the quillfish. 878 quillfish. It's windy and there's water noise behind me. I apologize. You know what? We got enough regular Pokeballs for a while. <laughs> no, okay. Great throw, regular Pokeball though. And a raspberry. We shall see. No. It was a great ball then, why not? Uh, one, two, oh, critical catch, come on. Awesome, I don't have any good quillfish. They're all lousy. No matter, there's another one. 451, it's raspberry pokeball. Ooh, what was that? What was that? What was that? Got it. I really like the shot. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look at my fail. Right, well, my gut's telling me follow the lures and they seem to be all the way at the library down the street. Maybe they're just a bunch of homeless people there and somebody set those lures about six hours ago. <laughs> but I'm going, I'm going. So far, not a whole lot of grass types. You know what I mean? Most of these catches have been Granted, I was at a water biome, so that's a big conditional. Yeah, but most of what I've seen have been water types, as far as like good catches go. Granted, I do tend to ignore grass types anyway, because they're super common around here. 505 Totodile, Pineapple Vulture Ball. Woo! Oh, that was hideous. Dude. Boom, first try, come on. 199 Totodile. Room for improvement. We're at a we're at a square 200 totodile candies. Come on! I mistakenly called Legislative Plaza the library earlier because I hate downtown. There's the War Memorial, City Hall. So somebody set down a bunch of lures in Legislative Plaza and then bounced. So I'm just gonna pick up this chikorita, enjoy these lures for a little bit. Ugh. Missed by a lot. We got him. Might as well walk these lures. Come on. There we go. If I go up here down Commerce, there tends to be good spawns there. I don't know though. I haven't been here in a while. All right. Well, there's a Chikorita. Not quite the rare spawn I was looking for. 538 Chikorita. I gonna hit that with the great ball. Nope. Run. Run. I don't want you. I don't want you. Run away, I don't want you. Don't you want to be free? Oh, run away. I got him. Somebody's lured up the rhyming. Outside of Bridgestone Arena, I'm gonna use a pineapple and an Ultra Ball because I'm crazy. God, first try. Bampy. All right, this is a pretty awesome lure. Whoever set it up. 
freaking packed. Yo, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. This is a really bad time to be laggy, Pokemon Go. Come on. Yo, it's a freaking wild Hitmonlee. Come on. Stop lagging out. Come on. Please, let me get this wild Hitmonlee. Yo, it just spawned too. No. It's ridiculous right now. Something's definitely up because it usually doesn't take this long to boot, but it's been doing that all night. So, Silk Road reports that a widespread server issue is impacting travelers all across the globe. You may not be able to catch any Pokemon nor spin stops currently. What about, what about just boot up Pokemon Go? That's like rock bottom. I forgot Walk of Fame Park was like the center for pedal taverns. Like that's where they all start. That's where all the drunk bachelorette parties start. All right, we're getting close to that hit on Lee. And we're at the Schirmerhorn. 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 It's the pedal taverns. I think every single one of them, it's a rule. You have to play Spice Girls Wannabe. The goal is to be as basic as possible. Basically. My bag is full. Why? It doesn't matter. There's a Hitmon Lee somewhere. Somewhere! There he is. There he is. I gotcha. 573 Hitmon Lee. In the wild, guys. Come on. We're not joking around. Raspberry, Ultra Ball. Or not. What was that? Ah. Oh. No. I am having terrible thumb flicks right now. You're getting up close and personal. Two. Got it. Finally. Finalement. I'm gonna venture back into Draperig Park. Wild Draperig. Draperig. I need light. Where is the light? There is no light. Whatever. <laughs> 25 CP Draperig. Wow. These are shocking times. Got it. <laughs> they need to turn the light on or something. Oh my gosh. The inventor of the pedal tavern. Like, screw you, man. Like, really, screw you. 1308 giraffe rig. We need a regular Pokeball, this guy. Wow. Wow. Okay, there, that's much better. Lag. Gotcha. I think it's both the fact that I'm having horrible signal right now and Niantic's having server issues. I think I'm done with this. I think I'm gonna head to my car now. We, I'm in front of the Batman building, kind of. It's far away. It's back near. 5K! Growl it. Right. What the heck? Someone's got a star or five stars. I'm just glad I missed whatever that's going on over there. Yep, I'm freaking over it, man. <laughs> Downtown Nashville's great. I just, I don't like it. Doesn't mean you have to not like it. You can like it all you want. As a native New Yorker, we hate places like that. Times Square, New York, prime example. New Yorkers hate Times Square. No way, unless I work there. I'm not going anywhere near that zone. At least I don't have pedal taverns in freaking Times Square, New York. At least I'm still in this gym. Level eight. Not for long, you know. <laughs> I'm surprised it stayed up that entire time. Honestly, like that it's still standing. Defies logic. Oh. Walking is hard. <laughs> Oh, It's the one downside to Pokemon Go. I gotta fill this sucker up more often. Luckily, the Prius doesn't really take that much juice anyway. Oh. Oh. I need some food in my belly. So what 
have we learned today? If there are no lures during a six hour lure event, something's wrong. <laughs> You're gonna have a bad day. Today was pretty much a bust. I don't know. I got cookout day. So in general, Nashville's pretty much a grass biome. And so for most of this video, I was a little bit underwhelmed. I was looking at the spawns and I was thinking, wow, this is this is like no different from any other day. I'm getting a lot of hop ups, a lot of sun currents, and a lot of chikoritas. Pretty much par for the course every day. But the longer the day's gone, I need to realize there's a lot of chikoritas I've, I've caught today. I haven't been documenting them because, uh, I don't know, they're chikoritas. I didn't think they were very special. But yeah, this has been like, I've caught a lot of chikoritas today. <laughs> Like the candy number is up there. So yeah, the event is in full effect. And this chikorita is being a jerk. It's a raspberry and pack. All right, I should do it. One, two, no, wow. A little bit overthrowing. There you go. One, two, there you go. That's right. 509 chikorita candies. That's a pretty big jump from where it was. 510. I was kind of laughing because I was getting more interesting spawns from other types, like I have fighting type, like I gotta hit Mon Lee. But I was making that judgment based off of like the quality of the catch rather than the quantity. And there's just a lot of hop ups. Usually there are, but this is more than usual. And there have been reports around that people have caught meganiums, which is cool. I have not seen a meganium. I caught a lot of water types today, but I was in a water biome. There's that. I think I'll have a little more time tomorrow morning to go out and uh, walk around a bit. We'll see. Yeah, I didn't think it'd be more than one video, but I guess it is. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video and can't wait to see part two of the grass event, make sure you hit subscribe and hit that bell next to it if you want to be the first person to know whenever it comes out or when I'm streaming. And if you're watching this today, I'll be streaming Mass Effect and Drama later today, May 11th at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. So check it out on Twitter and Instagram in the description below, and I will see you later, guys.